Hello and welcome to episode 44 of my Terraria Calamity Mod playthrough. Plan today, we've got a few things we want to craft. Um, after that, we're going to make an attempt to try and get the Sand Shark to spawn. If it doesn't want to play ball, then we're going to go straight into the dungeon and we'll spawn it after we've been into the dungeon because then we can just craft the spawn an item. Um, once those two things are done, if we have time, then we will go kill Plantera some more. So, in our inventory, we have a bunch of things we're going to craft. I think I've already emptied this chest out. Yes. Uh, there's a few more things in here that we also want to craft. Um, but first things first, let's get some upgrades. We have the minion loadout book. I'm going to upgrade this through the uh, through to its final form. Um, primary reason being that we are starting to get to a position where we want to be summoning multiple um, minions and this will just make things slightly easier to do that. We do still need to keep the staffs in our inventory somewhere for this to work but it is a convenience item. Uh, we'll also upgrade our portable remote storage access which we've not been using but we may as well upgrade it anyway. Um, let's see, fairy boots. I was going to craft them just for the sake of having them. Um, and then there's a weapon chain. Which I'm guessing the first part may need to be crafted using um, a different device. Crimson altar. Okay. Um, is there a crimson altar on the path down to here? Uh, we didn't do much or too much off screen. Um, we did get one thing done that I probably should have done on screen, and that's not find the um, pool of shimmer. Uh, the thing that I accidentally did that probably should have waited was I was looking through our list of how um, our, our housing list, and I was summoning or bring or summoning in um, a bunch of the slimes that we didn't have. So we got the steely slime. I also managed to find. Um, the Shirley slime uh, and the other thing that could have waited was the diva slime which you get by throwing something into the shimmer we have a bunch of things that we do want to be throwing into the shimmer so I think we'll go do that in a minute um, is there anything else I can remove from here I can't remove the blessed apple just yet I can stay in my inventory for now. Um, okay, so Crimson Altar. It doesn't look like there's one along this path, so one second. I will get myself to a Crimson Altar so we can craft the first part of this um, sword chain. In fact, we'll go do it on that side because it'll be slightly quicker and it puts us near where we want to be anyway. Oh, something else I did. Um, I noticed that these doors kept being partially or being left partially open, which wasn't helping for them. Um, invasions and things people were getting injured so simple time and a wire underneath it on the position these doors open to prevents them from opening or automatically closes them once every five seconds Okay, yeah, one Crimson Altar. Craft the first part of this. Oh, apparently all parts of it are crafted at the Crimson Altar. It's got another upgrade after that. We'll do weapon testing once everything is in order and we have everything. So I will get myself down to the Shimmer and we shall get ourselves some additional upgrades. Okay, we've made it. Uh, let me quickly set up some defenses. Although for whatever reason, monsters aren't currently spawning. So, let's get some upgrades. Damn it! Okay, no, it's still in my hand, that's fine.
Okay. Should be everything. Let's get out of here. Right, so what we have is... Vital Crystal, which will boost our life regeneration. Arcane Crystal, which increases mana regeneration. Aegis Fruit, which increases our defense. These are all fairly small upgrades, but they're, not, they're still worthwhile. Permanently increases mining and building speed. Permanently increases luck. Increases the defense and strength of all villagers. And then we now have a moon dial to go with our sundial. Not that we need it, we have this item up here that just works for us anyway. Um, okay, uh, we also grabbed the helium moss for no particular reason other than so that we could use it on our fishing bobber. Okay. That's first lot of stuff done. Let's grab the second lot. Uh, yeah, we can put that away. We're crafting it for the sake of crafting it. That's for testing. That's for keeping. Right, next. Ah, yes, this is all for testing as well. This is stuff that we um, picked up. We have five... Excaliburs to upgrade, and the Extractor to upgrade. There's our Excaliburs. One, two, three, four, five. And then the Extractor, which I think just allows it to prov uh, provide new ores. There's a few other things you can get from it, but I entirely forget what they are. I would have to look it up. Uh, those two are for a pair of swords. Um, I think that's for an item that will eventually synergize with these. That's right. Living Dew, Radiant Ore, which will eventually get mixed in with this. To make that a little way off that. Um, we've grabbed some hellstone for the volcano because the volcano mixes with the hell kite which is a required item for the god item. All of that. That's for a particular item. That's another item. That's another item. Toxiflak cannon we got a while ago. That has an upgrade for it. And then this for the ability to summon a sandstone. Sandstone, sandstorm. So we have the necklace of vexation, which synergizes with the a perennial armor. I don't know whether or not we'll craft that, but I figured we may as well craft the necklace. There's the arid artifact. Ah, yes. I don't know what this is, but it seemed interesting to get. And then we have the flat cannon, which is an upgrade for that, which I don't think upgrades again. And then we had one item we needed to craft. I think it was the spear. But I didn't think it went into a god item. I think it just went into... Um... An item that goes fairly far. Yeah, so I only actually need one of them. I grabbed enough materials for two. Mostly out of force of habit. And that should be everything, at least for now. Uh, we'll keep these in here because we are going to need some more Crawlite or Crawlo fight, 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 fight bars and living shards later. Perennial bars we will as well, but I think we're done with those. Um, okay, let's see what this is.
Oh. It's a poster. I thought it was law. It's the only reason I tried to craft it. I thought it was law. It's nothing. I am a little sad. Okay, um, let's give some of these weapons a quick try. I don't believe we've got any summon weapons here. So um, these are the two things that we bought from um, the rogue. Is it the rogue? Whatever his name is, the NPC that um, sells you rogue stuff. Decreases road attack speed by 15, but increases damage by 10%, crit by 15%, and velocity by tw um, 15%. So this is a really good item for powering up um, stealth strikes. And then this one works basically in the opposite. It increases attack speed, but decreases damage crit chance. Um, it also increases stealth uh, regeneration. So this is better with, or used in conjunction with something like the Ward Invaders Talisman, where you crit or get one crit or one stealth strike and then just fire a bunch more. So you're firing in bursts. This is good for burst fire, this is good for individual fire. Um, as previously stated, this works with the Reaver armor, um, adds acid venom to all attacks while wearing Reaver armor. Uh, we have the Blighted Cleaver. Now yeah, they're just rotating really fast. Okay. Nothing too special. It does have a further upgrade. Now, what about this? This is a... a um, or this is actually a... Vogue weapons. We want to see what it does. 31 crits. Self strike leaves a trails of lingering flowers. Hmm. I don't think it's better than Deep Wound. It might fire faster than Deep Wound. It does fire a little faster than Deep Wound. But yeah, damage of Deep Wound is slightly higher. And it pierces and this one doesn't, it just bounces straight back. Fair enough. Um, this thing we got... Um, oh yeah, I forgot, there was a another Acid Rain event, so I went over and cleared it and we got this as a drop from it. It is... A very weird magical item. Right. Ah, they are tracking my cursor. Interesting. They do try to track the cursor. That is actually a potentially useful magical item. It's a shame we're not running a mage. Um, next things. We've gone through all of those. I think this is just a... Your bog standard spear increases maximum life and life regeneration increases life regeneration the final form of this is maybe an item we end up having permanently equipped it goes up to here because look at all of this stuff increases defense life regeneration provides regeneration equivalent to standing in honey honey standing still grants extremely powerful regen uh, one sec let me just Kill that thing in the background, <laughs> behind the window. Uh, healing eventually slows down um, if debuffs, or if debuffs for an extended period of time. Massive boost of natural life regen. So yeah, it's just a really good survivability item. So it may be something we'll want in the future, which is why I was crafting it now. Um, Hellkite summons a flaming geyser. Geyser uh, explodes an enemy hit. Contains the power of ancient drakes. Interesting. 
Okay. I will quickly put all of this stuff away and then we will see about... It is very windy, but there's no sandstorm. Uh, we'll see about if we can get a sand shark to summon. So, one moment, please. Okay, we realized we forgot to test a weapon. Whatever the hell this murderous flak kraken is. Interesting. This is a ranged weapon, isn't it? Yeah, it's a ranged weapon that appears to behave a little bit more like a um, magic weapon. I can definitely see a use for that, although its damage wasn't particularly great. Um, okay. Let's put that away for now. Actually, no, let's, um, let's see what other things that we can remove from here. Bottomless water bottle in here is just waiting to be upgraded to something else. So let's take that out and put that back in. Um, I do kind of want to keep these in here. Wooden platforms are useful to have, but I only ever need them when I'm building an arena at this point. No, they're still useful to have on hand. Um, the Brimstone Seeker more or less overrides the Daedalus Golem staff, so I think we'll get rid of that. The problem is that the, uh, the problem with this thing is it requires to have the staffs in your inventory in order to be able to set a loadout, which means I have to have inventory space uh, allocated for each of the staffs. Now, to be fair. Thanks to the void bag, we have more than enough inventory space, but still. Um, we'll put it away for now. Whether or not we will ever use it is another matter entirely, but we'll put it away for now. And then we'll put this in here. And we will put this in here. Let's go over to our summoner build, because the plan was... We were going to see how effective these were. Against the shark. So let's see about summoning the shark. Uh, we don't currently have a sandstorm, but it is very windy. Although the wind is starting to die down. Uh, one other thing that I did off camera is I filled in this hole over here. Mostly so that the desert, um, also the game considered more of this area the desert. <sighs> oh, we didn't bring any pots. Um, let me go get pots and I'll be right back and then we'll see if we can get him to summon. Okay, that's everything set up. And we need this thing to actually spawn sand sharks. We would almost certainly be better served in the other desert, but if we do it in the other desert, I'm very concerned about... Um... Actually, no, we can, we can still do it here. All we need to do is ask the hallowed to go away for a while. Okay, that'll do. It should largely just be considered desert now.
the spawn information for it is kill um, ten shan sharks. That of course requires that they spawn. There was a notice, what was it? Something stirs in the warm desert sands. I think that was just a note or that was a notification that we was halfway there rather than anything else. Come on sharks. I think we need two more. Here we go. Okay, we've received your warning, but our buffs have been up for a while now. Oh, you fly. And you're not much of a challenge. Well, it was a consideration that it may not actually be that much of a challenge. After all, it was just a mini boss, but it did basically no damage to us. Uh, can we stop the sandstorm now, please? We are going to need a few more of its big scales, but we'll wait until we can just directly summon it. So. One second, I have an inventory of junk again, and I need to empty it out. Okay, cleaning out, it's done. Let us place our relic. Right, so there's not many things that need this, but there's still a handful of things that are important that we want to get. Uh, we want to get this thing. Uh, it further upgrades into the Reaper Tooth necklace. And some other things in here. That's an upgrade that we prepared stuff for. We need to go get some ectoplasm though. Sandstorm. Fire sand bullets that explode and slow down as we down. Need sand as ammo. Does extra damage to enemy shots at point blank range. The storm in a bottle. A couple of rogue weapons. Sad. That I want to craft immediately. I actually went out of my way to make sure I had enough ancient cloth to be able to do it. I think that's just a pet item. Yeah. Well, I assume these are pet items. Anyway, Sharknado, we've got an Apex Wand, we have that around here somewhere, there we go, and then we also need our light bars, <laughs> Sand Shark Staff. Summon Sharknado to fight for you. Well, their damage certainly lends them to being particularly effective. I don't know about their movement speed though, they didn't exactly... Why did that go in there? Is it because it's a weapon? Or is it because it's... Ah, it's probably because of that. No, 
though they fire from a pretty decent range. Yeah, they're not the fastest moving things, but even still, they are definitely a weapon I may want to use. Not even upgraded yet. Decent amount of damage on them. Um, I think I might put this away until I farmed a bit more of them to, or until we can actually make most of the things in here will be the plan. So let's put that in here for future use. Um, I don't think these spores, they're interesting, but they're not going to do me any good where we're going next. And I think the Sharknado beats out uh, Entropy's Vigil. So I think what we'll do is we'll swap that for that, we'll keep that. We want to keep that because it goes through walls. And you can go away. And once again, these can see through walls. I'm not sure I'm a fan of um, all of these summons being able to see through walls. If these can see through walls, then um, we can check this because we can place this from all the way over here. Yeah, if they can see through walls, then I think I want to replace my other summon with them. Uh, the Dormant Boom Seeker. Because the reason I like these is because they can't see through walls, which means they're much better at defending me. Uh, which is probably a reason we'll be using the other one in the dungeon. Okay, I will get these upgraded. We shall get over to the dungeon because that is the next task. Um, I think we will use Entropy, Entropy's Vigil. That'll be the plan. So let me get this sorted and I'll see you in a second at the dungeon. Interesting. So left click twice, clear out. There's ones. It's not paying attention to the staff here, and it's considering this as a. Strange. So, left click request to move right click to save, so. No doubt saved. If I clear these things. Okay, so we have to actually assign it. We go one, 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 two, three. Now it doesn't know that this one costs two. And it thinks this one is a normal summon. I may have to remove this mod because it doesn't seem like it's properly integrated. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and it doesn't work properly. Okay, if it doesn't work properly, it doesn't work properly. I thought it might be useful. It's not. It's broken. I may just remove the mod. Although that said, it is that mod that's adding these up here, and these are a little bit easier to use than these down here. So, I don't know. Maybe we keep it. But yeah, certainly it's not as useful as it originally appeared. Let's have... The Dreadmine staff in our inventory. Let's have it on our hotbar. Okay. That's something that's something what we need is another one of these. Right, over to the dungeon we go. Um the only thing that's added is extra enemies. Uh, that's something that we forgot to do off camera, so we have to do it on camera. We have Crimson Key, we have Corrupt Key, we have Hallowed Key, we have Frozen Key, Desert Key, Jungle Key. Hallowed, Corrupt, Crimson. I'm 
fairly sure we're missing some. Yeah, I didn't think we could craft them. Jungle key. Maybe we do have all of them. Desert key. Huh. I thought there was one more. I guess not. Fair enough. We have all the keys we need. Let's go then. Um, first things first though. We actually are not going into the dungeon. I need to change my mount. The drill is not the mount that we need for the time being. I need this thing. Uh, where are you? Where is he? He's on the ground this time. Do you have my lever thingy? You still don't have it. Still missing that item. Never mind. Why have we got a sandstorm up here? I've got a second one of these. Okay. We'll worry about the particulars later. Let's head down to the dungeon now. Primary reason we're down here is to fetch some ectoplasm. But we may as well open all of the chests while we're down here. spare one of these. We do need a spare one of these. I don't know whether we're, going to, uh, whether we're going to use the camper, but at the very least I would like to have the camper. My potential concern with this particular summon build is largely that our summons are going to be in the wall a bit too much. Is that the hollow chest? It is. Okay, we can finally get an achievement that has been waiting to be acquired for a while. So while our summons deal with these things for a bit, we need to equip that. We need to put that on our hotbar. We summon our reindeer. Reindeer? Unicorn. And we fire our laser. This is actually a pretty good weapon because that stays permanently and um, acts as well, against um, enemies that have multiple segments, it will hit all of them. So it's similar to our Rain and our Klinger Staff. It is useful for that regard. Oh yeah, if we're gonna... We probably shouldn't have brought Plantera with us. Let's disable it, because it's attacking through walls, which is not helpful. Let's one. In which case, let's swap that over. Summon two more of these. Ah, excellent. We need those. These are 
all fairly nearby and easy to grab. We'll worry about the specific weapons we're picking up later. Let's see, where's the other ones? We still need to find three of them. Frozen, Desert and Jungle. Locked Astral Chest. Ah, we don't have that yet. Shadow Key, Golf Cart Key. Paladin. We do need him. I can see. And we're probably going to have to come back for that then. Which is fine. If we have to, we have to. It's not going to tell me what key we need for that. Plasm, so I may as well collect it. The rate of enemy spawn, however, has gone up. I'm not seeing an ectoplasm or uh, a um, candle debuff. Almost certainly a boss arena. I don't think there was any uh, locked chest down here. But we are safe for a moment. It gives us time to work out where the next chest is. I wish they were slightly more obviously coloured. That's just a gold chest. There's the jungle chest. Okay, so we're looking for that darker colour. We know the astral chest is there. Table chair. Four by four. No. Table chair. This is where we came from, which is fine. Hmm. I thought all of them had to spawn. But I could be wrong on that account. There we go, there's the ice chest. And we have the jungle chest. Which one are we missing? Which 
one are we missing in that case? Desert. Okay, let's go to the chest that we just found. Maybe we'll see the desert chest along the way. Right there. It's the Ice Hydra. I remember that summon. Good summon. Uh, did we get the Paladin Shield? Last chest, and then. Yes. Okay, that's one of every unique weapon, bar the astral one. So let's have a quick look to see. Okay, the Paladin has not yielded up its um, shield. The shield is the one thing we need from Paladin. It's used for a fairly high tier item by the looks of it. Um, these things go together with that. So we have all of those parts. That all goes together for the Stasis Ninja Belts, which we can't quite craft, we'd need um, that to pass them. Let me upgrades again. I don't know whether or not that's useful, but let's store a whole bunch of stuff in here so that we can make sure that we're keeping um Based on our inventory for these so that we can hang them up. Oh, we have another pattern. They're a little stuck. Okay. Let's put that there, that there. I don't think I can shoot that through walls. There we go, we got the hammer and the shield for the paladin. Good, good. And that's what all the banging noise is. It's these mines. Okay. How much ectoplasm do we probably need? One makes three. We're probably going to need a lot more than we already have. We've got everything major we need from here, so I think I will find myself a location just to hunker down, farm ectoplasm. Um, let's just make sure the Paladin doesn't drop anything else. No, 
The two things we need from it are the hammer and the shield. Do we need more than one of them, though? Uh, wrong one. The shield is used in a few different things. Okay. So we're going to need three shields. We only need the one hammer, though. hunker down in the space and just farm this stuff. Yes, yeah, seems reasonable. Farm some more ectoplasm and I'll be back once we have collected a decent amount of it. Okay. We have a lot of stuff. We need to go through it and figure out what is worth keeping, what is not. Um, what are duplicates, etc, etc. But we have lots of good stuff in here. We even managed to get um, the bulky morning, a bulky morning star, which is an upgraded whip. Look at the length of that thing. The amount of damage it does. Um, so yeah, I will go through all of this, um, put away anything that's um, uh, resources, not interested, etc. Collect together all the materials we want. And again, I will be right back. Apologies for all the cuts. Saving you some time is what I'm doing. But yeah, be right back. Okay, I think we are done sorting through all this stuff. Uh, we still need to go farm some more. Um, we're going to need to get a few more of these. Does this have an additional upgrade? It does. Frozen turtle shell. Not sure where we get that if we have that already. Oh, it's craftable. Okay, fair enough. So we can craft that. That's needed for Rampart of Deities. Does that specifically need the frozen shield? It does. If I am, it's, we're getting close to being able to make that, so fair enough. That's one thing we need it for. We also need it for, need it for this. Another very powerful upgrade item. And then hero shield, which I think is just a fairly standard shield. It upgrades from fleshy knuckles, which I think... Oh, we need another copy of them if we want to make a hero shield. So, not that big a deal. The hero shield we can do without. Obviously the Paladin Hammer is going to be used in the major upgrade train for the Pone Hammer. Rifle Scope. Do I need one of these or two of these? I need two of these, yeah. One of them is used for them. Um, uh, what's effect uh, effectively the long, uh, the long upgrade item or vanilla upgrade item for ranged classes? And Recon scope is the highest tier of it. But that needs the destroyer emblem before we can do anything with it. So yeah, we do need another one of these. Obviously, we know what we need these for. In fact, we can craft that. Um, we can pull that out. We do need all three sniper rifles. So. We need one for this, which only we need one of, but then we need two for this because it has two upgrade paths. But we can't do anything with it at the minute, so they just all go into storage. What about the tactical shotgun? It has a direct upgrade. It has a further upgrade. Disseminator. Why have I seen that before? Universal Genesis. That's why I've seen that before. Star Cloaks. So we only need one of those. That's good. Let's just get all of this out. And then we have the items we got from the biome chest. Now I believe the summon item is a sentry. Yes. If 
different model. Shouldn't be surprised. What does this look like? Uh, let's get rid of our summons. They don't fly particularly fast, but um, they're fairly accurate. Uh, one of them is being or shooting in between the two at the minute. Is it worth replacing that with this? I mean, I think these are still just better for bosses. They're not great for single targets. Okay, there we go. Now they're staggered fire in that they're actually doing roughly about the damage that they should be doing. But even then, versus their nearest equivalent to what we have at the moment, these guys. They're only just doing the same amount of damage. Not as good as they used to be, unfortunately. But it's a material. A while before we can use it, but it does get a more powerful version. So, that wants to go into storage as well. Tiger Staff. If Is this the one I think it is? Am I remembering this correctly? If I remember correctly, which I may not be doing, but if I do, this doesn't summon multiple tigers, it just makes the tiger we have bigger. Interesting that we got that achievement now. We've. Ah, uh, no, we've never. No, we did do. We did it with. Um, uh, we don't have to honor with those flowers. But yeah, I remember this guy. This guy's cool. I think it does have one more stage if we can get another. Another summon um, thing. But it's quick and it deals a lot of damage and it just hovers there. So I think that may be one we keep and it's not even upgraded yet. Uh, that doesn't have an upgrade path but we may be keeping it to use it. We have a ruthless fan. And that's given us... Yeah, life stealing daggers. That has an upgrade path. This has an upgrade path. Ah, yes, I remember this one. What about the piranha gun? Ah, yes. I remember this as well. I should remember all of these. They're um, all vanilla items. Unlike this, these all have upgrades, which they never did before. Barracuda gun. And it upgrades again. To Starmageddon. This upgrades to Cosmic Rainbow. Can't make it yet. Upgrades again twice. And it's a good job there are ways to craft the chests. This is from... Um, it'll be Hallowed Chest, won't it? It's possible to make new ones. Or it's possible to get the items from it. Um, I'll have to check. But I vaguely remember reading somewhere in Calamity Mod that there is a way to get second copies of these chests. 
It may be fishing. It may be fishing. Because I certainly don't think we can craft this item. But we need two of them. What about these? Scourge of the Cosmos just has a single upgrade path. And the fan has a couple of upgrade paths. Okay, so all of that lot goes into storage. All of this lot goes into storage. We probably swap that out, but we do need to upgrade it. So that can go into permanent storage. I think we keep the tiger. I think we are keeping the tiger. That can go in here. That has an upgrade, so it wants to go in the summon chest. We are running out of storage space for all of this stuff. These are no longer in an orderly fashion. Uh, that goes elsewhere. I know we're already out of space for melees. This chest is full. Hopefully that'll be fixed in the near future. Which weapon do we replace? It is a tough call. How close are we to upgrading this again? Miles off. Uh, and this goes towards the god items. The next one is the elemental one. So we're miles off that. I'll figure that out off camera. Which ones we're going to keep and which ones we're going to give it up. Um, the shield, it wants to go with this collection of stuff here. Um, for the sake of giving us a little bit more space, I think we can use... Yep. Yeah. Uh, what I'll do is I will farm the, um, the shark off camera because it posed no threat whatsoever. I have no reason to believe that that's going to change. If I know, we'll, we'll, we'll farm it on camera because it will give us opportunity to test some of the, uh, test this new summon. Uh, oh, I forgot to sell that. Right, this does have another upgrade. Um, let's put this here. The Master Ninja Gear. What are we missing for this combination? We need 50 Purified Gel and then an item we don't have yet. The gel we may as well grab and put away. Assuming we actually have enough. We do. We have additional chests that we can use, so it's not that big of a deal. Can't make any of those yet. Let's put that in with this lot. We're gonna have to use a new chest for the extra melee weapons. Let's hopefully remember that they're in there. Okay. We also now have a metric crap or a decent amount of ectoplasm which unlocks a whole bunch of extra things. Gives us the ability to summon the Pumpkin Moon, the ability to summon Frost Moon. I don't think either of those are immediately on our list. No, we have three more, our three actual bosses first. But we can make the Elemenum uh, Cores. I think strictly speaking, that's craftable. That's craftable as well. That's craftable, but it's not a um, material. <sighs> yeah, uh, between episodes, I will 
Again, figure out what we're going to make from all of this, because the ectoplasm opens up a lot of stuff, not just um, upgrades that are available from these cores. So we can craft all of these things now, so that should be doable. Yep, that's doable. It's not quite doable. That isn't yet, but Core of Calamities we can now make, so all of this, a lot of this stuff is accessible. So yeah, I will go through it between episodes because there's a lot of stuff here for me to figure out what resources we have and what we can and cannot craft. So with that, we shall leave it there for today, I think. Um, so yeah, we'll be back on Friday. We'll probably start by um, killing the uh, shark a few times, killing Pantera a few times, um, and then we will work on doing the crafting after that. That'll be the plan for Friday. So, thanks again for watching, hope you enjoyed the show, and hopefully we'll see you next time. Cheerio.